Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we're going to learn how to make a slip knot and how to make a foundation chain. Let's get started. So grab whatever yarn you have. This is just regular uh, chunky yarn, like a size 4 craft yarn. And a, whatever crochet hook goes with your yarn, I'm using a 4.5, but you can use whatever is recommended for your yarn. To start, make a slip knot, so put the tail over your hand. I hold it on my ring finger with my thumb, and I make an X on my two fingers, and I just poke the working yarn, the yarn that's coming from the ball, under between my fingers, and I pull it. And then just slide it all off your fingers, and there's your slip knot. I leave a long enough tail so I can sew it in with a needle unless the pattern says otherwise. So just pull the yarn that comes from the from the yarn, from the ball, a bit smaller so it gets a bit more like a hook size, and then slip it on your hook. And tighten it down. Not too tight, and you and you want it on the shaft of your hook, not up underneath the hook where it's skinny. You want to do all of your stitches down here. That'll give you the right size. The same that this is the dimension of your hook. So four and a half millimeter, this part is four and a half millimeter, so you want to make your stitches up here. To do your chain, you're going to wrap your yarn. So I just push my hook onto my uh, down onto my yarn and twist my hook so it's facing down and then slide it through that loop on my hook. And see it's nice and small there, it's underneath that hook where it's too tiny. So now I slide it up onto my hook to get it to be the right size. And again, push your hook down into your yarn, pull it up a little bit and twist it facing down. So your hook facing the, the chain you're making and pull it through that loop you had on your hook and then push it back up onto your shaft so you get that loop to be the right size. You don't have to tighten it, you want it still to be a bit looser than your hook. And now again, push your hook down into your chain, turn, put it up a little bit and twist it down and slide it through. So that's how you're making a chain. And you just do this for the, the same number of chains it'll tell you in your pattern. And if you get a big loop occasionally, you just kind of leave it. You don't need to always like pull your yarn to make it tight. That'll kind of wreck your chain. Your chain will be too tight. So push your hook down and bring it up and then twist it so it's facing down and pull it through the, the loop you had on your hook. And always resize by pushing your loop back towards the handle of your crochet hook. So that's the tips and tricks of making a chain. If you're doing a blanket or project, um, you might want to use a slightly bigger hook. If you're using, say, a four and a half millimeter for your project, you might want to start your chain with a five and a half or a six millimeter hook, just to make sure your chain is loose enough so that your work doesn't curl in. Your chain will have the same stretch as your stitches. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And thanks so much for watching. Stay hooked.